Yeah, I think the adjustment was awesome just coming off of spring training and being away for a couple of months and you never really think about being in the minor leagues to you think the bad parts of the minor leagues would be being away from family and being away from home. And it's kind of been the best of everything being up here so far and playing in front of friends and family and the rest of the community. So um, the adjustment was definitely a really good one and a really comfortable one. Now let's stick with adjustments, but let's go to you uh, at the plate because the beginning of the season and now is night and day. You got off to a slow start. What kind of adjustments did you make at the dish to have this 320 batting average since May 26th? Um, I think for me, it's a lot of me hitting and my approach at the plate is just trying not to change, just stay within myself and stay with my routine and my process. And I felt like at the beginning of the season, um, I was doing a good job of it, but wasn't as consistent as I wanted to be with it. So I think just not changing anything, not changing my routine, not really getting too hard on myself or putting any extra pressure on stuff just because results weren't falling. So for me, it's always just been stick to my process, stick to my routine, and everything else will take care of itself. Well, the process seems to be working and your routine seems to be working as well because you're on fire right now and I'm glad you brought up pressure because that's where I want to go next and how how much does it help your development that the big club right now is having the type of season that they have so there's really no rush with your development I mean for crying out loud you're only 21 you're going to be 21 at the start of next season as well so how much does that take some pressure off you down there I feel like we're pretty close geographically to the big club but we just have such a good clubhouse and um, good support staff, great coaching staff that everyone's just focused on our personal development here. There's no real, obviously everyone has the same end goal, but we just are trying to put our foot in front of the other every single day and get as good as we can so that whenever the call comes or whenever the day comes that not just me, but every everyone, whether it's um, the guys that play a couple days a week or, or anyone on the team that um, we just want to be as ready as we possibly can be for whenever the day comes. There was some synergy between Double A and the big club, too. On the same day, you and Aaron Judge both had a walk-off. Can you take us through that day and, and through that at bat and what it was like? <laughs> yeah, um, it, was a, it was a pretty awesome day. We, we were actually playing the team that – it was the last day of the first half, so we were playing the team that whole week that it was either us or them. And um, it was kind of winner take all that last day. So it was probably the most intense minor league game I played um, in my career, just because, like I said, we have such a good clubhouse. And I think they had a really good clubhouse, too, that um, winning really mattered. I mean, I think they bunted in the third or fourth inning to move guys over, stuff like that. So um, the whole series was super back and forth and a really hard fought series. So, um, yeah, I, I knew they had a really good pitching staff, and I, I kind of was hoping that I was going to get a chance to impact the game, lead in the game. So um, it was a really great day just to be a part of with, with the with the team. A couple things on uh, Derek Jeter, who I, I knew you grew up watching. Um, you know, you grew up a Yankee fan in New Jersey. Uh, and he, he was given the number 70 back in 1995 when he came up to spring training for the first time. And you were given that same number. I know you want to make your own way. And I know the comparisons might be there in the future, but what was that like getting the former captain's number at spring training? I, I guess I didn't really, I, I definitely didn't realize in the moment and I didn't really find out until a couple of weeks later, but um, it definitely wasn't anything of my doing. And I, I just feel like, like you said, <laughs> um, I, I, have, I have definitely a, a super long way to go. And I, and I feel like even if I played really well and had a really great career, there's no one going to be, there's no one that's going to be another Derek Jeter. He had such a great career and it's why people like me and so many others looked up to him. And um, it's obviously humbling to get any sort of comparison, even if it's the number I'm wearing on the back of my Jersey, but I just have the utmost respect for him. And I don't think there'll be another one like him.